Hi guys, Michael from Modulus here. Uh, I've just got some faceplate examples that I'm going to just show you the difference between some of the materials that we actually stock and make faceplates out of. Um, hopefully we'll answer all the questions that you might have in terms of choosing the materials and what we can do for you. Right, so the first two, which is probably the most popular ones that we do, is the brushed aluminium effect faceplates. So the brushed gold and brushed silver. Hopefully you can actually see the brushing on that. Um, looking at my screen, this looks a bit darker than it really is, but that might just be my screen settings. Both these materials are actually, they have a foil surface on them, but they're actually a plastic backed material. So what we're doing is we're engraving through the material through the foil to show the black plastic in the background and normally we use the laser engraver to do that okay we're able to cut out any shape you want so circles rectangles anything you need really we can cut out to suit right we also have matte black and matte white in the same material so again it's a thin thin top surface on a black back that we engrave through and you can feel the engraving on, on the top if you, if you run your finger over it, okay? The, the nice thing about this materials or these materials is that they're easy to drill. If you need to drill out holes bigger, um, they're less prone to cracking if you are trying to drill them out. Um, you can actually cut them with a pair of really sharp scissors as well. If you need to trim, trim a, the end off, you can cut them up. Um, the disadvantage about them is they have a slightly, uh, because they're plastic, they are softer and they are more liable to scratching. So when you're fitting them, you just need to be careful with how you fit them. If you're fitting knobs around there, the dials, make sure that knobs are not actually rubbing on the faceplate. Otherwise, you could end up with marks being left on the faceplate. So it's just knowing things like that, that once it's installed, generally, they should last a very, very long time. Okay. So those are front engraved acrylic face plates. Okay. Right. One of the most common asked questions we have is what's the difference between gold plexi and brushed gold? So that's the brushed gold and that's the gold plexi that we have. So again, the brushed gold is front engraved. I can feel the text in the front. It looks metallic. The gold plexi is just a clear plexi top and what we do is we engrave from the re reverse side and paint fill it so that you can then see the paint coming through the engraving and that provides us with our takes. So if I, so if I touch it it's really smooth. The other thing about these panels is if you get slight scratches on them you can just get some metal polish like Brasso and polish them up and um, generally they're good as new as well. So obviously both both these materials would give you that sort of classic martial look for your amplifier. Um, you can see the logo plates there. We also have it in a silver. Um, now that's a non-reflective silver material. And as you can see, we've just paint filled that red from behind. This one still has this protective mask on it, so it uh, won't get damaged. You also don't need to fill them, so this one's not been filled, so you can actually see the engraving there. And the advantage of doing that is if you wanted to do a light up logo, like Matchless, Bad Cat, or any of these other guys that light up logos, then that's how you do it. Um, the other advantage of doing them is here's a gloss black one that we have. You can see it's reflective is we can do different color infills for the engraving. So there you can just see how that's been done on that one. Um, sometimes it gets a bit more complicated, but we just need to look at the file of what you've got and how this one's done. This one was done pretty easily. Okay. These, these plexi panels, we're generally doing our rotary engraving machine because it gives us the most professional quality. Um, and consistency yeah now this this was a another material we added to our lineup recently 
it is, as you can see, mirror plastic. So again, it's a clear plexi on the front and we reverse engrave it to paint fill it. So this one's not been paint filled yet, but again, stick it up to the light and guess what? Your controls are all lit up. So, right, so that, that's plexi panels and what you can do with those. The third type of panel we do is a hard engraving laminate. Now, the advantage about this is it's obviously hard and it's less prone or more difficult to scratch. Although if you did scratch it, again, you can get the metal polish out, the brasso out, and generally you can polish out any, any marks out of the faceplate as well, which is really handy. Um, this is a brown faceplate. Uh, that's also brown, front engraved. So we do these on the rotary engraving machine as well. Uh, you, you can't laser engrave this material. It is more brittle. And if you want holes put in it, I suggest we cut the holes to the exact size for you so you don't have to drill it yourself. Um, but as you can see, we've done rectangles as well, uh, circles. So give it a go. There's the black material with the white engrave, engraving. Uh, this is pretty much exactly the same material that the likes of High Watch used, and it'll give you that sort of look, really. So you can see it is actually a laminate as well. You can see the different, different colors there. Okay, that's, that's it. We, we can do lots of other colors. We can get Perspex and spray paint it if we really needed to, to get it to the exact color that you wanted. But um, hopefully that's answered most of your questions about materials and what we're able to do machine-wise. Okay, thanks guys. Cheers.